Thank you all for coming. I'm Dr. Markowitz with NASA, and this is Dr. Hanley with the Institute of Temporal Anomalies. We're obviously very interested in your story, as you are the first three people to have experienced a verified time travel event. Man, this is bananas. I mean, <laughs> we were just three buds watching TV, and now we're like quantum pioneers. <laughs> now, please tell us how this time portal appeared. Well, uh, I got a free one-month trial to the Showtime channel. So um, we was watching Ray Donovan. And, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a, I'm a sucker for conflicted heroes. Good person, bad deeds. That, that dichotomy is very rich to me. Yeah, a wonderful sir, but if you could focus on the time travel. Oh, you're yeah, right. Well, uh, so me and her, we was on the couch when uh, this glowing, majestic gateway appeared. Uh, we drifted into it and found ourselves in a gorgeous city made entirely of crystal or something. Yeah, and, like, we were welcomed by a group of people made up of, like, all the races of the world, and they said, we are the Council of Humanity. This is the future. Like, it was so beautiful. And you, Miss Rafferty? little different for me. I must have been on the wrong side of the portal or something, because I wasn't so much welcome to the future as I was violently sucked a million years into the past. <laughs> I went to caveman times, man. Got yanked so hard that my sweats and my sneaks stayed in the present. And uh, I land ass up, face down in the mud, with my cooter and my tutor on full display. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, last time I was in this position, I got kicked out of Woodstock 99. And were there people there to welcome you as well? People is such a strong word. <laughs> they were, um, you know on the evolution chart where you see how monkeys became human? Yeah, these guys hadn't hit the halfway mark yet. <laughs> Let's focus on what happened in the future. Um, well, the Council of Humanity showed us their city. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I would have wept, but, you know, I was all cried out from watching Nurse Jackie on Showtime. Right, no, Showtime stuff, Dex. You know, these two are walking around Wakanda. Meanwhile, where I'm at, it's the rise of the planet of the apes. Because all 50 of these hairy, naked monkey people are swarming at me, and they start rubbing me with their butts. And I don't know if you've ever been on the business end of 50 balloon knots, but it ain't exactly a Tuscan sunset. Uh, perhaps this was some sort of primitive religious ritual? Buddy, God had no part in this. <laughs> marking me with their scent. And these guys weren't exactly zestfully clean, right? So they zebra-striped my T-shirt so much, I look like a Foot Locker employee. But hey, it's never easy making new friends, right? Noted. And what happened next in the future? Um, we was taken to this place called the Oculus, and inside was all these gateways to other solar systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and in each one was a planet they'd colonized. I couldn't, I couldn't believe I was chosen to witness this. Well, I too was chosen. Chosen by the alpha female to be your new girlfriend. <laughs> she comes at me like a silverback, right? She just she ragdolls me. And look, I, I ain't really into ladies, but if nothing else is open, I'll eat at a Taco Bell. You smell what I'm saying. <laughs> Right, right. So anyway, this gal wants to bond, right? So I'm sorry. You mind, Dex? Yeah. She climbs on my back, right? She starts picking at me, you know, looking for stuff to eat. And unfortunately, she's finding a buffet. So I guess the snack got her in the mood, because then she starts, like, grinding into my head. She's trying to mate with my hair, I guess. She's using my face for, like, a handhold. And then she goes back to eating, and she climbs around the front, and then she sees my ear, which I guess she thinks is some kind of vending machine, because she's just like... <laughs> she's candling, but there ain't no wax. <laughs> okay. Then for the grand finale, she reaches down, she pops a finger at my keister like it's her second date or something. And I'm like, hey, curious, Georgina. <laughs> Last person to try that never saw his wedding ring again. <laughs> yes. Thank you for that. No problem, and thank you, Dex. <laughs> yes. 
Your jeans rug burns my neck. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Poor you. I got bush smushed by a cave woman. <laughs> You'll live. Now, how were you all brought back to the present? Um, well, the portal opened up beside us, and the council said, when fear is replaced by trust, your world will begin to change. And then we were home. Yeah, it was the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. Right up there with getting that email that said you've been selected for a free month of the Showtime channel. <laughs> See, you now that's some piss in my porridge. Because when I dove in the portal to get home, still pantsless, mind you, I landed downward dog in a Grand Hyatt ballroom with my clam casino and my bean burrito right up in Barry Levine's face. And who is Barry Levine? Young man who's never going to forget his bar mitzvah, that's <laughs> right. Well, we would like to take you all for a medical exam. Yeah, that might be a problem. I got zero health insurance. <laughs>